there everybody, and welcome to episode 2 of my devlog series. Alright guys, so in this episode, I'm going to be showcasing to you my completed inventory system. This includes, but is not limited to, equipping and unequipping armor, with UI displaying armor's bonuses, equipping and unequipping rings, with UI displaying the ring effects, equipping and unequipping left and right handed weapons, as well as cycling through those weapons, with the UI displaying the weapons bonuses, equipping and unequipping quick slot items, with the UI displaying the quick slot items effect, and the ability to leave, discard, or use items, along with the ability to leave or discard specific amounts at a time. Alright, now with that out of the way, let's take a look at the UI when you pick up an item. So you will see upon walking up to the item, you're greeted with a UI pop-up that says pick up item. If you choose to pick up the item, you will see an image of the item you picked up along with the amount of the item that has been added to your inventory. Note that the amount will only appear for consumable items or quick slot items, as other items in the game are not stackable. This means should you pick up an item like a longsword when you already have one, it will just create two longswords in your inventory. But if you pick up a firebomb and you already have one, it will add that firebomb to the amount you already have. Alright, now that we've covered that, let's take a look at the screen that lets you change your equipment and the screen that lets you look through your inventory items. So, if I press start here, this little bar will appear, and you will see four icons pop up. I can cycle through each of these, as these are all menu options. Depending on what button you press, it will open up a different menu. The options include equipment screen, inventory screen, player status, and the options menu. For this episode, we're just going to take a look at the equipment change screen and the player's inventory screen. The first, I'm going to navigate to the far left and hit the equipment change screen. So, upon opening the screen, you will see there are individual slots for the helmet, chest, legs, and gloves, as well as four individual ring slots, four slots for the left and right hand weapons, and eight consumable item quick slots. You will also notice as I click the head slot, the head equipment inventory screen will open and allow you to select one of the head equipment pieces you have in your inventory to assign to that slot. So let's go ahead and start assigning some equipment to our player's equipment slots. Here we've assigned the helmet, and now our player's defense bonuses will go up depending on the helmet's damage absorptions. So if a player gets hit, we take less damage depending on the helmet's stats. Alright, let's go back to the equipment screen and see how the UI changes once we equip something. Now, as you can see, the head slot shows a picture of the helmet, and the stats to reflect the helmet. Let's start equipping armor on the rest of our player. So as you can see, if we click the chest equipment slot, it shows us what chest equipment we have in our inventory, and allows us to select one to equip. To the right, you will see the absorptions that the equipment piece has, which will show you the types of damage this equipment absorbs when the player is attacked. You will also see the item weight above it, which will factor into how much stamina the player loses upon rolling. But right now, we don't have an item weight set for this item. Alright, let's fully equip the player before we move on. Now that we have everything equipped, as you can see, all the equipment slots show icons depending on what equipment is equipped. You can see the helmet, the chest piece, the leg piece, and the gloves. The selected slot will showcase an image of the equipment as well as the equipment stats to the right of the screen. This will change depending on what slot you are hovering over. If the slot you are hovering over has no equipment or no weapon in it, everything will display as blank. Okay, now let's showcase the weapon switching from the left and right hands. I'm just going to go ahead and equip two weapons in the left hand and two weapons in the right hand. In my right hand, I will equip a straight sword and a mace, and in my left hand, I will equip a plank shield and the knight shield. So, upon exiting the menus, if I hit the right button on the d-pad, I will cycle through my player's right weapons. If my player has more than one extra MP slot, it will skip over that last slot and come back to the first weapon. The same can be said for my player's left hand. Hitting the left d-pad will cycle through the left weapons, which in my case, are the kite shield and the plank shield. Alright, next let's take a look at the player's inventory screen. If we hit the inventory icon, it will bring up one of the inventories. You can cycle through all the player's inventories by pressing RB or LB. Each item will have its own inventory depending on the item's type. For example, head equipment will be in the head equipment inventory, chest equipment in the chest equipment inventory, weapons in the weapon equipment inventory, and quick slot items in the consumable equipment inventory. Since we have our only head, chest, and hand items equipped, the head, chest, and hand inventories will appear as empty. Since the inventory screen works a little bit different than the equipment screen, when you click on an item and actually doesn't equip it, it will give you a drop down menu. From this drop down menu, you can choose to use the item, leave it, discard it, or leave selected, or discard selected. Here I've chosen to leave 5 firebombs. That means I've dropped 5 firebombs on the ground that any player or myself are free to pick up again. Let's take a look what happens when you hit the other menu options. If I choose to hit discard selected, and I choose to discard 5 of the item, the item is just taken out of the game, deleted. And as you can see, the item count goes down, and the item does not appear at my feet upon discarding the item. 
The options discard and leave work very similar to discard selected and leave selected. If I choose to hit discard, it will discard one of the items taken out of the game. If I choose to hit leave, it will drop one of the items at my feet, free for myself or another player to pick up, adding it back to our inventory. Well guys, there is so much more I could showcase, but I will leave that for another video. Thank you so much for watching, and please, if you're feeling kind, drop a like below. It does help appease the YouTube algorithm gods. And if you're feeling super generous, check out my Patreon where you can support my tutorials and my project. See you guys in the next one. Oh, and recent patrons, don't worry, your name will be announced at the beginning of the next Dark Souls in Unity tutorial series.